In this video, I will show where to pull tap ignition power, i.e. only an ignition on position in the first generation Colorado and Canyon. Here we have the blower motor operating on high to see what the corresponding current is. Assuming worst case conditions, I estimate a maximum current draw of 12.8 amps. If we say 10 amps max for the accessories, then that leaves 7 amps for margin for when the motor ages. This slide shows the HVAC schematic snippet and where we will tap currents less than or equal to 10 amps. This shows the charging system snippet and both where and how to tap currents greater than 10 amps. The location to connect the fuse slash relay for currents greater than 10 amps. Older GM blower snippet for reference. These vehicles grounded one end of the blower, whereas our Colorados are connected to 12 volts. We need to remove the glove box to get access to the blower motor harness. Three bolts hold it in. Disconnecting the blower system connector. Confirming that in the lock off position that there is no power. Confirming that in the ACC position, there is no power. Confirming that in the on position, there is power. Pull back on the black insulation. Tapping into the blower motor wire. Soldering the wires together. Pull forward on the black insulation. Reconnecting the connectors. Here we see both a close up of the connector with the tap brown ignition wire and it's routing into the radio HAVC control area. Now we are removing the radio HVAC trim to get access to the HVAC control. Removing the HVAC control panel to correct the previous ignition voltage mistake. Cutting the previously attached wrong wire and wrapping electrical tape around it. Stripping the insulation off of a new ignition wire. Removing the wire nut on the previous ignition connection, swapping the old ignition wire with the new. Reinstalling the HVAC control, ensuring that the HVAC heat control cable is in place. Confirming that the radio and ignition accessories have power. Hope you found this helpful.